Now, this is the tip of the Thwaites Glacier. As many scientists say it's the most important glacier in the world. They call it the Doomsday Glacier, and this is why. It's absolutely massive, roughly the size of Britain, and it's collapsing at a rate of three kilometers a year. And here's what makes it so vulnerable. If you strip away the ice, most of this part of the continent is below sea level. That means the ice is exposed to the deep warm ocean water that circles Antarctica. That warm water is now also flowing into the coast because of the weather, melting the ice that it comes into contact with, causing the ice above it to break. And because the seabed here also slopes downwards, more and more ice becomes exposed, in turn accelerating the glacier's retreats. Now, all of that means that you're going to get rising sea levels. Ice loss from Thwaites is contributing to around 0.2 millimetres rise in sea levels per year. Take the glacier as a whole, and there's enough water locked in it to raise the world's sea level by more than half a metre. And it doesn't end there. Here's the Thwaites Glacier in the West Antarctic ice sheet. This is a vast basin of ice that contains the potential for another three metres in sea level rises. And if Thwaites goes, we're told much of the West Antarctic sheet will go. And that's an apocalyptic scenario. Sea levels uh, rising to that degree could mean that cities such as New York, Bangkok, Bangkok, Shanghai, all of them could be swamped, and there are many others on that list. The importance of sea levels isn't also just about where water sits on a normal day. It's about storm surges. So if you take London, for example, if the sea level increases by a metre, then a storm surge that perhaps would happen every thousand years is likely to hit once a decade. So this glacier that's very remote, even by Antarctic standards, is relevant to all of us. And by the way, this is how remote it is. It's 16 kilometer, you can see it, 1,600 kilometers from the nearest research station. Until now, no one's even attempted a large-scale scientific survey of it. But now it's happening. This is the web page of the International Thwaites Glacier Collaboration. It's a five-year, $50 million UK-US effort. And this team has returned from the front of the glacier.